the Bible talks about it's called sacrifice Inasema kujitoa. I believe that it's not a sacrifice if it does not inconvenience you. Anasema sio kujitoa ambayo inakusukuma wewe. Whenever we talk about sacrifice we are talking about something that has inconvenience. Wakati tunaongea juu ya kujitoa ni kitu ambacho kinakusukuma wewe. Hallelujah. Amen. But we are encouraged to do one thing. Lakini tunazawia kufanya kitu fulani. To offer sacrifice of praise and to God. Yes. Mm. And this is a situation where you feel I can't praise God for this. But you choose I'm going to praise him anyway. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Hey. And that's what I would like us to do right now. I don't know how you came. I don't know the challenges you are facing. I don't know the situations before. You. But I know that it still remains the same. Yes. Yes. You can do what it did many years ago. And for that reason I choose to praise him. I'll praise him not because he has done it. I'll praise him because he has done it. And he begins speaking to 
the churches. Anaanza kuongelea makanisa. There were specifically about seven churches around that time. Kulikuwa makanisa saba ambao zilikuwa zinaongelewa wakati ule. And when we talk about the seven churches, we are not talking about uh HIMC at one place and then Apostolic Church at another place. Na wakati tunaongea makanisa saba tuongee hii ma nomination ambao mmoja anakuwa hapa na nyingine hapa. Around this time churches were categorized according to the region in which they were. Anasema katika wakati huu makanisa zilikuwa zinatofautiana kufuatana na madini. So when Jesus writes to the church, na wakati Yesu anaambia makanisa, is writing to the region. Anaandikia makanisa the church in Holborn anaandikia kanisa ambalo linakuwa wakati fulani the church in Open Road kanisa ambalo linakuwa Open Road the church in Vine kanisa ambalo linakuwa Vine that's how it is going right now ndio ilikuwa inakuwa sasa hivi hallelujah and he has written seven messages to the church na aliandika barua saba kwa kanisa hili saba what a moment why should he write when he talks to them every day Why should he write to them when he talks to them every day? Anasema kwa nini? Kwa nini uandikie na unaongelesha kila siku? Hallelujah. It's just a question. Ile ni ulizo. And verse 14 of Revelation chapter 2 wake wa 14 na sura ya 3 I'm reading from good news. Nitasoma hapo habari njema. The Bible says in 14. Biblia inasema katika mstari wa 14. To the angel of the church in Laodicea. Kwa kanisa la kwa malaika wa kanisa la Odikia. Write this. Andika hiyo. This is the message from the Amen. Anasema hii ndio ujumbe ya kutoka kwa mtu. The faithful mwaminifu and true witness. Na yeye anakuwa mwenye kushuhudia neema. Who is the origin of all that God has created? Yeye ndiye alikuwa anatokana kwa yale ambao Mungu aliungwa. I know what you have done. Najua yale ambao umetenda. I know that you are neither cold nor hot. Eh najua kwamba wewe sio baridi wala moto. How I wish you were either one or the other. Ya namna gani unataka kuwa huyu wala mwingine? I wish you were cold. Ningefikiria ulikuwa baridi. I wish you were maybe not cold but hot. Ningekwambia hauko baridi lakini uko moto. But you are in between. Lakini unakuwa katikati. And the Bible continues. Na Biblia inaendelea kusema verse 16. Eh kwa mstari wake wa 16. But because you are lukewarm. Anasema kwa sababu umvugovugo. You are not hot wala hubaridi and you are not cold wala moto i'm going to spit you out nitakutapika utoke katika kinywa changu i have all i need kwa sababu wasema mimi nisajili sorry verse 17 Eh kumi na sabi nasema hivi. You said I am rich. Unasema mimi ni tajiri. And I am well off. Na nimejitajirisha. I have all I need. Wala kuna kitu ni nacho kitaji. But you don't know. Lakini haujue. How miserable. Eh namna gani wewe. How beautiful you are. Wewe ni maskini wala huna chochote. You are poor. Uko maskini. Naked. Uko uchi. And blind. Na uko kipofu. I advise you. Na kushauri then to buy gold from me. Ununua dhahabu pure gold iliyosafishwa kwa moto in order to be rich. Ili ukwe tajiri. Buy also white clothing. Lakini nakwambia tena ununue manguo mavazi meupe to dress yourself. Ujivike wewe mwenyewe. And cover up your shame your na shame naked. Ufichike hiyo haya ya uchi wako. Buy also na tena some ornaments to put in your Eyes. Na kuna vitu ambavyo utaweka kwa macho yako so that you may see ili upate kuona I rebuke and punish all whom I love Ninawakemea wale wote ambao nawapenda Be earnest then and turn from your sins Anasema ugeuke Listen Sikia I am standing at the door Nasimama kwa mlango and I am knocking Na mimi napisha If anyone hears my voice Ila utataka sikia sauti yangu And opens the door Na kufungua mlango I'll come in Nitaingia and eat with him Na nitakula pamoja na yeye And they will eat with me Na atakula pamoja na mimi To those who win the victory Wale ambao watakao ushinda I give the right to sit beside me Nitawapa uwezo wa kukaa pamoja na mimi On my throne Mbele kwa kiti cha mtoka I have been victorious kama vile mimi nilio shida and now i sit by my father na mimi nakaa pamoja na baba yangu on his throne kwa kiti chake cha ufalme if you have ears kama una masikio then listen to what the spirit says usikie yale roho anaambia makanisa to the churches yale ambayo anaambia makanisa if you have ears 
Come on, Amasio. Listen to what the Spirit is saying. To the church. Hallelujah. He wrote to one church. But as he ends, lakini kwa wakati huo, he said, listen to what the Spirit is saying to the church. Anasema lakini usikilize yale ambayo Roho anaambia makanisa. Not what the Spirit said. Anasema isiyo yale ambayo Roho anasema. What the Spirit is saying. Yale ambayo Roho anasema. It's not just the God of the past. Iko sio Mungu wa zamani. It's the God of the now. Ni Mungu wa hapa sasa. He doesn't change. Abadilike. He has never changed. Hawai badilika bado. Let's just pray. Father, we pray for your way. That Lord allow us and give us the grace to declare it to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. If you are given to writing, I've entitled my short message today. Very short, of course. Towards revival. Hallelujah. Amen. I've got to understand one thing. That revival is not a program. Although we see a lot of programs that are called revival. Welcome welcome from Zambia. Zambia. You will see a lot of banners everywhere. There is a revival meeting. You see posters all over. A great preacher is visiting. And we are going to have a revival. But immediately after the meeting, the spirit of stand of the people goes back to the same level. They had what they called the visitation of the spirit of God. But there is no continuation with whatever was meant to believe that's what is going to come to our city. Wherever we go into churches today, we are surrounded by many churches. And these churches are also surrounded by so many things that are not Closer to the kingdom of God. We have been, we have so many believers who are surrounded by so many men believers. And there is no transference of life. And yet every day we claim na on a revival. Every day we are saying we are on a revival. We have so many programs. So many meetings. So many discussions. Based on revival. When you look at the fruit. It's all smoke. There's no fire down there. There's no until we reach a point where we realize that until we get revived ourselves, we are not going to see revival. Mm. Yes. Many nations have seen revivals before. I, I come from Zambia. One of the things that you see in Zambia, the landmark. Eh, Almost every corner of the country is the apostolic church of Zambia. The work of the apostolic church of Denmark. One guy just came, looked at the land, and he said they may be giants, but it's right for a harvest. He sacrificed. Life. So many things got done. The Pentecostal Assemblies of God came later. Church of God came later. But apostolic had gone almost everywhere. Today we have got independent churches around. But one can never deny anything. From the apostolic church. They really worked. Hallelujah. 